All right, happy Thursday to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. It's that time of the afternoon where you find out what's cooking, what's happening out there in the tropics. We are about a week away from September, which typically is the most active period of hurricane season, which runs all the way through the end of November. Usually the middle to end portion of August, all of September, the first half of October, usually pretty busy. And then things typically start to calm down for the second half of October and for much of November. But of course, things can pop up quickly at any point during hurricane season. So I'm here to let you know what's happening and update you on the latest. Of course, earlier this week we had Harold, which was a tropical storm briefly roll right across South Texas. Harold is long gone. It's dissipated. It's fallen apart. So we no longer have to talk about Harold. Let's move on to what we do still have out there. So this is Tropical Storm Franklin and Tropical Storm Franklin rolled right over Haiti and the Dominican Republic, dumping several inches of rain. It brought several inches of rain to parts of the Turks and Caicos. Franklin is now off to the east of the Turks and Caicos Islands. Maximum sustained winds have gotten a little bit stronger, 60 miles per hour. Movement to the east northeast at eight miles per hour and pressure at 998 millibars. So you can see that movement to the east northeast. It's gradually going to start moving more to the north but I want you to notice just how powerful Franklin could get over the weekend into early next week forecast to become a category one hurricane by this weekend Saturday afternoon 1 p.m. 80 mile per hour winds a category two hurricane likely by the second half of the weekend with 110 mile per hour winds by Monday and Tuesday. It is still projected to be a category two hurricane, but fortunately it should stay far enough away from the east coast of the US to where it shouldn't pose any major issues, but it's going to get pretty close to Bermuda by Monday evening, Monday night and Tuesday. It's going to pass just to the west of Bermuda so they could feel some of the impacts from what will then be Hurricane Franklin maybe some stronger wind gusts, of course, high surf, some strong rip currents, and of course, the threat for some heavy rainfall. So we'll be watching and tracking Franklin closely. We've got other action out there as well. This one is probably the most interesting to you. If you are in Texas or anywhere along the Gulf Coast, we've got a broad area of low pressure that was right along the eastern Pacific coast of uh, Central America and now it is pushed onshore into portions of Central America near San Salvador and it is moving across Central America right now. If it survives over land, it will reemerge into the northwestern Caribbean and then it could eventually early next week shift and track into the eastern Gulf of Mexico. So another potential tropical depression or tropical storm in the Gulf. This time it likely will be the eastern Gulf. Models are indicating that it would push north. So if it did develop and get stronger, it will likely head somewhere closer to the Florida Gulf Coast instead of to Southeast Texas. But of course, anytime you have a system in the Gulf, you start to worry a little bit. You look a lot closer at those models and of course, we'll be monitoring things and updating you as it develops. We are also monitoring two other tropical waves. One, the remnants of what was Tropical Storm Emily in the central Atlantic, now with a medium 50% shot for development over the next two to seven days. We've also got Invest 92L. This one is in the east central Atlantic with only a low shot to develop into a tropical system for the next 48 hours, but a medium 50% chance for this one as well to develop into a tropical depression, tropical storm, or hurricane over the next week. Now, Invest 92L is moving more to the west northwest, so that one is more concerning for me because it could potentially get closer to the US, but the remnants of Emily moving north, so that one would likely not reach the US. I want to jump over to the Eastern Pacific, and it's been pretty active for the Eastern Pacific hurricane season so far, and we've got two additional systems now in the red, and that means there's a high shot for development into a tropical system over the next two days and over the next seven days. So this one is kind of hugging right along that southern Mexican coast near Acapulco just south of Acapulco and it's projected to push north and west so it has a high shot over the next week a 70% chance to develop into a tropical depression or a tropical storm. We've got another one a little bit farther out into the eastern Pacific with a 60 to 80% chance for development and this one is going to be moving more to the west. So these systems 
would be moving away from the U.S., but this first one that I talked about could bring some impacts to that southern Mexican coast because it's going to be a lot closer to Mexico, whereas the other one is already a little bit farther out and moving farther away. So it may have been a fairly slow start to the hurricane season, but we are really ramping things up and picking things up. And this kind of goes along with the latest forecast. Of course, the Colorado State University forecast, the update, the latest update came out August 3rd. And of course, those numbers show an above average season, 18 named storms, nine hurricanes, four major hurricanes. The main reason that the numbers increase was due to the fact that we have extremely warm waters out there in the tropical Atlantic near record warm levels. And that means that those storms that develop those potential tropical systems can quickly pop up and get stronger with that warm water acting as the fuel to help those storms grow. In an average season, we would have about 14 named storms, seven hurricanes and three major hurricanes, but things could end up being above average as we go through the remainder of our hurricane season. So for the Atlantic Basin, we've already gone through several names, Arlene, Brett, Cindy, Don, Emily, Franklin, Gert, and of course, Harold. So if we have any of those tropical waves in the Atlantic to develop, if we have that system that will likely move into the Northwestern Caribbean to develop, we could have Idalia, Jose, or Katia tracking those likely over the next week. So we're going to be monitoring things closely, but bottom line is that it looks like it will be a pretty busy period, especially for the next week or two. The latest NOAA forecast going for a 60% chance for an above average season. And of course, NOAA increased their numbers for the remainder of hurricane season back on August 10th, going for 14 to 21 named storms, six to 11 hurricanes, and two to five major hurricanes. So we've got a lot to track, a lot to monitor. We could have another tropical depression or tropical storm in the Gulf of Mexico early next week. So just keep it here, stay alert. And of course, we'll update you if we see anything concerning heading towards Southeast Texas. We are around the final week of August, but that peak of hurricane season right around September 10th, and that is right around the corner. So just right on time, things are really picking up and getting active. And of course, we'll be here daily giving you updates during the afternoon, tracking things closely. And of course, if we have anything headed our way, you will get even more updates. So make sure to check in so that you can keep up with the latest. Also, make sure you download our Fox 26 weather app, all of the tropical weather that you ever want or need you can find on there of course your local weather and if we have anything headed our way any hurricane watches or warnings tropical storm watches or warnings you can find those as well well that's all that i have for you today i'm fox 26 meteorologist ramisha shade nothing heading our way in houston or southeast texas right now but keep in mind there could be another tropical system in the gulf early next week so keep checking back and i will keep you updated have a great day